Hey team, so it's uh, Glenn here and it is Wednesday, I've uh, forgotten the date, Wednesday the 20 something, a couple of days before the GBU. I'm sitting here in Boston Airport about to uh, return to London just in time for the GBU. Um, I've had three weeks here in Boston um, and I kind of wanted to update you one way I'm at with my, kinda, with my two most important things, my two things blog. Um, so as you might know, um, my two things are to build our brand uh, externally and advance the course of employee engagement and also to um, build our business and ensure our success in the US. So I've been actively working on both of those things while I've been out here. Um, I presented at a uh, decent sized HR conference uh, last week over in Utah. Uh, it's the Plan Source Eclipse Conference. Uh, it's run by a business called Plan Source, which is a bit like Thompson's Online Benefits in the UK. Uh, they kind of do um, benefits, enrollment, and selection. Uh, they're also a great hair asset, uh, so it was really nice to be with colleagues from the family. Uh, it was an amazing conference, much, much better than I expected it to be. It was their first ever conference. Um, I did a, um, an updated version of the Engagement Bridge talk. Uh, it went down really well, had loads of audience interaction, loads of questions at the end, big queue of people. Uh, even Someone even tweeted that they want to um, they're keen to buy uh, Deborah and my book when it comes out next year, which is exciting. So, a great conference really helped helped us there, and it's another um, step on the route to uh, us getting bigger conference gigs in the US, which is kind of key to our marketing strategy. So that was kind of um, one big thing about building our brand. The other kind of um, thing which helped was uh, build our brand externally, uh, as we did our first bit of co-marketing with Glassdoor. So Glassdoor, obviously, um, big employer brand in the US. Um, talking to employers, all about kind of recruiting the best people. Um, we did a webinar with the Glassdoor UK team just before I came to Boston, uh, and then since we've been here, we um, published an ebook of the webinar, and we published that through, um, on our website, but with a blog post on the Glassdoor website. So it really, really helps to build our brand, connecting us with Glassdoor, and I hope that's the start of a really great relationship with um, with them. Uh, what else have we been doing? We've kind of done quite a bit of work on um, really kind of moving the US strategy along. Uh, you know, the, whilst the two things, the two, you know, the two things that are kind of most important for me, the business can get in the way of those things. And for part of this last six months, we've been, you know, doing work uh, looking at sales in the UK, and I've been restructuring the company, as you all know, that I did in the first three months of this year. I think we're in a really good place now to power on with the US. Um, so three things that are important uh, that I moved on on the US strategy in the last few weeks. Um, we have found uh, what I hope will be our new Boston home. So we found a really nice office overlooking Boston Common. Um, we haven't secured it yet. We're in the bidding process with the landlord, but Doug's in charge of that, and I expect that that will uh, conclude okay. Um, it's called the project's called Project Swan, and um, Angie and uh, Sevi and gang will be running that project uh, for us to build the Boston office that's as great as our London office is. Um, the Boston office we found is actually about the same sort of size as London, so it kind of fits quite nicely. Um, so that's one thing. But the second thing is we are investing further in client service. Uh, Becky's done a fantastic job running all of our American clients uh, to date since she came out here. Um, but it's time that we put some additional resources into client service. Uh, so we'll be recruiting two people into client service uh, between now and Christmas. That's the second thing we're doing. Um, and the third thing is, you know, I announced back in March when I announced the restructure, I announced that uh, we'd be looking for a chief people officer uh, based in um, based in the US certainly, most likely based in Boston, um, to really drive our people strategy forward and become a key part of our outbound people team, um, helping to advance the course of reward, employee engagement and um, reward gateway too. Um, so that kind of took a little bit of a pause while we kind of finished off the rest of our re the, the, re the restructure and kind of bedded everybody in. Um, but I'm kind of ready to pick that up again now with Chris Gannon, so I'm kind of working on that uh, with Doug and with Chris. Um, I don't think it'll be a quick recruitment. I think it'll take some time. Uh, I'm still really thinking about the sort of person that we need, and it's much more important that we get the right person uh, than we get someone quickly. Tracy's done an incredible job taking us to where we're at to date uh, and I don't want to rush that recruitment. So there are three big things for the, for the US, new, new office, investing in client service, chief people for recruitment. Uh, we're also looking for two, um, uh, two salespeople or a senior salesperson in Boston too uh, and once Shelley's got the UK um, fully sorted out and she's got her um, sales director for the UK hired, I expect we'll really be motor on US sales. You know, we've got, um, it was great to win Unilever uh, in the US just a couple of weeks ago. Tom and Dom have done a fantastic job with that. Really validates our product market fit in the US, so I couldn't be more excited about that. 
Um, I've also been meeting uh, other companies uh, in the US. In fact, your cause, the T-shirt I'm wearing on, is an amazing uh, company that we found um, over in uh, Dallas. I went to see them last week, uh, and they do, they're like a corporate and, so corporate and social responsibility platform. So essentially, they, that technology allows um, corporates to encourage uh, donating and volunteering um, from their workforce. Um, really, really great technology, about 100 staff, about $10 million um, annual turnover, and maybe there's a way we can partner with them or work together with them. They want to get their um, product out more internationally, and um, we want to. Um, uh, get ours more out in the US, so maybe, maybe we can work together, maybe we can partner, maybe we can JV, maybe we can just be friends and give each other tips about different markets and stuff. Um, but uh, really, really nice business, has great values, love the CEO, got on really well, so like, I, hope, um, I hope we'll see uh, something coming from that uh, in, the, in the coming months. So as ever, loads of great stuff going on, I'm really excited for the GBU, which is on Friday of this week. I know that there's great work going on in all countries um, on the GBU. Um, and there's generally great work going on in the company everywhere so as always I'm really proud of what you're doing and I'm really grateful for what you're doing and look forward, looking forward to uh, seeing you all on Friday. Now I've got one last request if you got to this part of the um, video. It would be enormously amazing feedback for me if, if, you, if this is the sort of update that you like from me, if you would now in YouTube hit the like button, yeah, which will give you a little heart because that's the only way I know that the, the content and stuff I'm producing for you is of any use at all and generally I get zero likes so it's very lonely for me back at this end not knowing if this is remotely interesting to anybody. So if you like this and you want to see more of this please press the like button. You'll also see the subscribe button, which I think is on that side of your screen. If it's not, it's on that side of your screen. The subscribe button, if you just press that, it means that whenever I post a new piece, uh, you'll get a notification. Um, so hit subscribe, and um, that would be amazing, and I would be delighted, and you'd make me a very, very happy man. Okay, see you all soon, guys. Bye-bye.